What is up guys, welcome to uh, kind of a video that is different for, I mean if you saw the thumbnail you already know that uh, this isn't a video that I particularly wanted to make. Um, I figured I'd tell the, the entire story because it is a little interesting. Um, we were going to make the uh, oil cooler video today for the for the 240Z. We, we have two builds. We got this four cylinder uh, turbo Ford 240Z and a 911SE turbo conversion. So we were going to do... Uh, the oil cooler video for that yesterday, but uh, had some pretty shitty things happen to me. So basically, we were cleaning up the garage, getting things ready to put the uh, the transmission back in the Datsun and uh, do the oil cooler video, which we will be filming uh, probably tomorrow because it's a little difficult for me to see right now. I do have these shades on. I'll show you my eye at the end of the video. It's a little bit red still. So basically, what happened was we were cleaning up, and I noticed that we still had this old slave cylinder and the, uh, the shaft had come out of it, and um, as far as I knew, it still worked, so what, what I was trying to do was put the shaft back in, but if you look right here, there's a port in it, and I guess this was filled with brake fluid, and um, when, I pushed the, uh, when I pushed the shaft back in it, I was looking at it like a dumbass, and like the entire cylinder of, uh, of brake fluid just shot directly into my right eye. Zero on my left eye, zero on any part of my face, just completely showered my right eye, just a, a perfect jet stream. So I immediately freaked out and I ran to the kitchen um, and I made a mistake that if you ever get anything in your eye you shouldn't do, I grabbed a handful of dish soap and I shoved it into my eyeball, which I have no doubt made things uh, way worse. What happened immediately after uh, I got the, the fluid in my eye was that um, if you've ever been in a chlorine pool for a long time with your eyes open, you get that kind of like gloss white look over your eyes. That's that's what happened to me, but like times a billion. Um, everything went white, not black, um, which which was frightening to me. Uh, perfect vision to my other eye, but this one I couldn't see anything out of. I couldn't make out shapes, um, and no matter how much water I put in my eye, um, it, it seemed to not make it any better. I was immediately concerned what's in the brake fluid we use. We use this Prestone uh, shit, and... The thing about this Prestone is it, it's supposed to not be, um, it's not really that bad of a thing to get in your eye as far as chemicals that you can get in your eye goes. Um, it, the directions just say flush thoroughly for 20 minutes and basically you're good to go. We called poison control, they told us the same thing, but it wasn't working. It's uh, I didn't get my vision back, so we went to an urgent care facility um, because we didn't want to go to the ER because the ER is expensive here in the States if you don't have premium insurance I think our deductible is $7,500 So we went to the urgent care and um, they tried to help me flush my eye again, but it, it was a little bit too painful and what they did was they put um, They put uh, a numbing drop in it and then they dyed it and uh, apparently if your eye is damaged it turns green well you can't usually see it without a black light, so they use the black light, and she's like, "Oh yeah, your your entire eye screwed. This is beyond my pay grade. I'm gonna send you to the ER." So it's like, "Okay, <laughs> that's uh, that's not very reassuring." So after that, I was on my way to the ER. Um, the very first thing they did is I got seen immediately. Um, there was not a lot of people there, so that's good. Sometimes with the ER, you wait a long ass time is they stuck a pH strip, which is basically like how you test the pH level of any liquid, like a pool or something like that. They just kind of stick that on your eyeball, and it went off the charts, so they immediately ordered uh, irrigation of my eye, which I thought I was just going to stand over one of those uh, sinks that shoots water into your eyeball. That wasn't the case. Um, apparently, there's this apparatus called a Morgan lens, which is what you saw on the thumbnail, and it's like a contact lens that's connected to an IV bag, and they run saline into that, and then it has nowhere to go, so it kind of just flows all over you. So they did three liters, so it's like someone just dumps three liters of saline all over you. So they did the three liters of saline, and then they uh, and then they retest the pH of your eyeball and um, see if it goes back to normal after well after an hour and a half because each bag takes um, about 30 minutes, and that that sucks. You got this rubber thing, you got a tube coming out of your eye. And uh, they leave you in the room, they leave, and then you're just by there by yourself, just staring at the ceiling, and it, it hurts the whole time. It feels like it feels like hot sauce and sand mixed together just shoved in your eyeball. And um, after the three bags, they come in and they test it again, and basically I was good to go. They looked at it with the, uh, the uh, black light, and they're like, yeah, the entire surface of your eyes burned. Um, basically, there's nothing you can do about that. It's going to heal from the bottom up, and um, we're going to give you some antibiotics and some pain medication 
and uh, it's gonna be about a week before your vision goes back to normal, And but it should. So that's the good thing is that I'm not permanently, uh, I didn't destroy this eye, but um, it was definitely a really, really shitty experience. Okay, so here's what it looks like now. Um, it is just as red, um, it, you know, and watery and very painful. Uh, but if I wear these sunglasses, it's not that bad. This was obviously more of an accident than anything. Um, I, w I didn't expect that to happen, but anytime you're messing with anything that contains fluids, uh, definitely wear safety goggles. Um, there's been times, you know, that we, we just kind of ignore safety, like everyone does, especially with mechanics that you do at your own home, you know, outside of the workplace, where, you know, no one's making you do it. It could be easy to just say, screw it. Um, th this it's totally not worth it. I really can't see shit out of my right eye. Um, it was an accident, but in the future, I'll definitely be a little bit more careful. Uh, there's going to be no uh, giveaway this video. We will do a double one next video. This was more of an update. We were going to shoot for uh, daily uploads this week, kind of as a surprise. We did it two days in a row, but yesterday's video didn't go out, obviously because I went to the emergency room. Um, we'll resume that probably tomorrow. I'm just going to, you know, see if this gets any better. They told me like two or three days I, I should be getting a little bit better. So we're going to try to make a video tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, thanks for supporting the channel. And uh, we got some exciting things coming for the Datsun. We got a new wing coming that comes in tomorrow. Um, the wheels are ordered. Those are about a week out and uh, we should be getting it running probably by Thursday. Um, as soon as I'm feeling up to it, we'll, we'll shoot for those daily uploads. Thanks again, guys. Um, see you next time.